How could I forget some of the happiest times of my life? And why are you going to force me to remember something that we can never have again? That's just it. We can't. We can't have it again. You can't mean that. I've never meant anything more in my life. Whitney, I've tried to move on. I, I got a job at Crane. I gave him my all, but I couldn't keep you out of my head. Wait, no. I don't believe this for a second because I happen to know that you were really hot and heavy with Valerie. So that's when you left your scarf at my place? Yeah. You two were making love, and it looked to me like you were having a pretty good time. I was thinking about you. Chad, don't say that. I'm sorry if it upset you, but I started seeing Valerie to try to get over you. But, you know, none of it worked. I can't get you out of my head. Okay, stop. You cannot even be saying these things to me, okay? We share the same mother. You have to stop thinking of me that way. No, it's not that easy. Well, then let it be hard, but that's the way it's got to be. We have to get over each other, chat, and move on with our lives. No, I can't let that happen. I love you too much. Chad, I don't want to ever hear you say those words again, okay? Well, it's too bad, because they're real. Whitney, I love you now just as much as I ever did. Stop it. Okay, you have to stop. That's disgusting. And that's the only lie that's being told in this kitchen tonight. Whitney, there's nothing about my love for you that's disgusting. It's real, it's deep, and it's true. I, mean, I want to get back together with you. I need to be with you. You sick bastard. Wait, no, 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 stop!